a new AutoTardist plugin. It's version 2.0.4. And if you'll notice, it looks a whole lot more like the web-based standalone in that you have the quality indicators right there on the chart. Let me go ahead and share that chart image with you. And we'll start digging into this platform here together. And of course, if there's any particular charts that you want to look at today while we're going through the platform, let me know. I'll be happy to, to use that as an example. All right. Now, first of all, once you install this, and, and some of the brokers will have this uh, pre-installed within their, within their software. You know, every, every broker does it different. For the version that I'm using here, it was pre-installed, and all I had to do was add it to the chart. It makes life very easy. Okay, every process is going to be slightly different. If you have any questions about the installation and so forth, uh, you can either contact the customer support of your broker, and I, and I recommend you start there because they're going to know the, the details of their version. And if you still can't get, you know, if there's still no joy, <laughs> head on over to tech support at autochartist.com. So once you've added it, you'll see what you've got on your screen here. Okay. For example, I have a large 86-bar triangle setting up on the 240-minute chart of the euro US dollar okay so with that said I do want to mention now again versions might be slightly different but if you'll notice there's a number of small and I'm, I'm hoping you can see it there's a number of small green little icons along the left side of this box okay the top one if you grab that will allow you to move the box so if, if you happen to have a problem with it's you know somehow being obscured by the price action and you want to kind of clear up the chart you can just move it wherever you need to move it okay that's a big one right there because you know making sure you can read what the box is telling you very important yes so notice, again, we have the pattern, length, direction, trend change, quality, initial trend, uniformity, clarity, breakout, and the result type, whether it's a completed pattern or an emerging pattern right here on the screen along with the pattern. Let's, let's dig deeper into the indicator itself. And, and by the way, some of the indicators that I've got running also on this, in case you're curious, is, and, and many of you who have seen my analysis you know we have auto chartist featured and a number of the major forex websites you name it we're probably featured there either on the website as a partner like like fxstreet.com or through analysis that i write all across the web okay so we have this featured in a number of places and sometimes i'll feature the standalone sometimes i'll feature the power stats, sometimes I'll feature the, the MT4, okay? But if you're looking for ways for me to, you know, looking for ways for, you know, I'm just a single trader, you know, I'm just an individual trader, and if you're looking for ways to kind of add to your knowledge of, of chart patterns, or at least how I trade them, you know, there's a number of sites you can go to. Forexstreet.net, my, my blog there, which is featured at Forex Street, uh, basically features the Auto Chartist platform in all my analysis. I have a number of educational and commentary articles at babypips.com. For those of you that don't know, I'm, I'm Queen Cleopatra over there. Okay, so you can see my analysis again, oftentimes featuring the Auto Chartist at babypips.com. For those of you that go to forexpros.com, we have analysis featured there as well. Oftentimes I'll have the chart pattern alerts or even the power stats. I'm very fond of using the power stats for some of my Forex Pros analysis. Okay. Again, we're just there's a number of places you can find 
the commentary that I write. If you have any questions about that, and of course, you can just head on over to my personal blog, ragihorner.com. Okay, but again, Autotardis is featured all over the web. All right, so you notice I have the custom indicator window open. And, and basically what I did is I right-clicked the chart, went to indicators, okay, went to the indicator list, chose the auto chart as chart patterns, and clicked edit. All right. Now there's nothing you need to change here on the common tab. All right. It should already be pre-checked with the settings that you need. Going over to the inputs. All right. Let's start going. Let's start moving with what it is you can customize on this platform. and how you can better allow it to give you the kind of alerts that you would want to see on your MT4. All right. All right, so first of all, what I would tell you to start with, and then I'm going to head on down here. Now, this might be something that right off the bat you want, we want to change. I don't really necessarily recommend changing a lot. I haven't. Then again, this, this, this version of the auto chart is for MT4 is relatively new, okay, in terms of all the different information it gives you. Obviously, you have some color options. What I like to do is uh, one of two things. Okay, I'm going to go down here, the bottom of the list. You can see all the different aspects that you can change. If you don't like the colors, and I, I mentioned the colors, it might seem like a simplistic thing, but I know a lot of you use different background charts. You want your lines and levels to be visible because AutoTardis is not just automating the chart patterns for you. They're automating the support, the resistance, the trend lines for you. Okay? So make sure that they're visible, clearly visible on your chart. Now, I have a lot of colorful things going on on my charts with my 34 EMA Wave and with my, my grab candles. So i got to make sure that those, those lines and levels pop out adequately for me. Okay, I might find I might go ahead and change those colors to a, a brighter blue or a even a yeah probably a brighter blue or even a yellow at some point in the future. That's something that I might consider doing. You know, and, and make sure again, it's not it's, there's no use in having a a tool on your screen if it's just not going to be visible for you. Okay, as far as the pattern count goes, you know you can obviously increase the number of patterns that's one thing you can do what I recommend is when you first have it on your chart just leave it be and scroll through the different time frames of 15 30 60 240 daily and just get to understand get used to the the way in which the the patterns are represented here Okay, because what your advantage is here is since the lines and levels are already drawn, you're not having to go back and forth between the web-based platform and this version of the platform in order to recreate some of these lines. That's where I find the, the biggest advantage. Obviously, also, your forecast area is plotted as well. Okay, so you can see this box you'll see on my, on my chart on a lot of these time frames when the pattern is a completed pattern. You know it's a completed pattern because one, it'll say so in the auto chart plugin box, and two, you'll see it because we'll have a forecast. Now, if you notice, I increased the number of results before I exited out of the program to two. So notice now I have two different patterns that are on the screen right now. Okay, I can even increase it to more if I if I needed to. Okay. Daily chart, Euro US dollar. Again, two different pattern alerts on the screen. And the one that this that it, the information is given to in the box, of course, is the completed triangle pattern that is broken out and reached the forecast range. Okay. All right, so you know, as far as getting set up, again. Of course, the topic of today's talk, getting set up, is a matter of contacting your broker. And again, I've given you the contact information for tech support and so forth. So I'm going to